Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of making a perfect food item in Minecraft. And today, we are going to be making none other than a pumpkin pie. Now, there's not that many ingredients that actually go into making a pumpkin pie. Just pumpkin, sugar, and egg. But we need these to be the best ingredients possible. So, we're not just talking a normal pumpkin. We're talking a fermented, aged jack-o'-lantern. Now, as you might know, there isn't really a fermenting process in Minecraft. You see, there's no way that a pumpkin will fit into any of the bottles. Zombies. That's right. So, during Halloween, mobs can sometimes... Well, no, actually, I think they always do. Spawn with pumpkins on their heads. And you see, those pumpkins have an extra special... Extra... Uh, how do we put this? Moldy and disgusting flavor that most pumpkins just don't have, you know? It's the fermenting process. It only can really happen when it's on a zombie or a skeleton's head because, I mean, how else could it possibly happen? Listen, there's not too much logic with this. Don't read too far into this. So, what we're going to do is wait till Halloween and then go get a pumpkin. So this has been part one. See you this Halloween. Nah, don't worry, I was just kidding. Instead, we'll do something that is a bit easier and takes less time. We'll invent time travel. Soy here actually has a degree in time travel, so uh, she'll be the one who's guiding us on how to make our time machine. Come on, Soy. Come on. Good kitty. That was an impressive leap, Soy. Okay, so she's going to tell us how to do it. If you'll come over here, Soy. And we will just begin building. Well, you see, first get some blue concrete powder and make a 3x3 three three base. Okay, Soy, it's a bit creepy that you're talking. I didn't know you could do that, but that's fine. Okay, now what? Okay, now build up around it with blue concrete. Break the front two spots and make an iron door. How's this supposed to- SHUT UP! Okay. Now place a lever next to the door. The other side! Uh. Okay, now what? Now put a cap of smooth stone on it! I've got to say, Swell, your voice is kind of haunting and will probably give me nightmares for the rest of my life. Okay, now add some decal with iron bars. Okay, now put some dispensers in. Like that? No, with them facing you! And there you go, that's your time machine. Well, thank you, Soy. Your voice will surely give me nightmares for the rest of my life. Um, also, it's completely creepy that you're talking, and I'm probably hallucinating or something, but this is a time machine, all right. So, uh, I guess I'll just put you back in the house on the carpet and give you a bowl of fish. Soy. Oh. Wow, that was also an impressive leap. You literally went through the fabric of space, time, and reality to do that. Good on you. Okay, so here we have our time machine, and now I just have to figure out how to run it. So I'll pull the lever, and then I guess I just go in, and... What the heck? This is a strength potion machine. That's not what I needed. Well, I guess I'll just destroy this. I guess that's why I was wrong. Hmm. I mean, I probably shouldn't have trusted a, a cat that was probably just not even talking and I was just doing a stupid voice for but yeah, that's, uh, disappointing, to say the least. I really thought this soy had a PhD in astrophysics, or whatever the heck it's used for time travel. But now I'm just really strong. Well, I guess that I can just use the tra time-traveling tree that's over there. Why didn't I do that in the first place? I will have to make a bridge to get over there, because I'm incapable of such a thing as flight, so... But this will do. Now we can just get right over here. And the time tree. Now I just press the buttons to take me to the correct time, Halloween of this year. And it should take me straight to it. Okay, it should be Halloween here now. Of course, not much will be different because it's day and there's no mobs available right now, but that's fine. Also, these cows didn't move an inch. Lazy cows. You, you don't get here. Freeloaders. Get away. Okay, so now I just have to find a cave with mobs in it and take their pumpkins. Whoa, look at that. They're not wearing the pumpkins, but they certainly do have some. 
and just by smelling them I can tell that they've already fermented quite well. Uh, how do I get them though? There's, they're all after me already. I could just jump down and grab a pumpkin. How will I get out? I don't have any blocks with me, that was dumb of me. My escape route collapsed. Um... You know, I'm sure this will go completely fine and well. Just jump down and kill them all. Maybe. Ah! Okay, I'm not gonna be able to kill them all. They are, in fact, going to kill me, I think. One left? Yes! The pumpkins are mine! Okay, well, I only actually needed the one, so... There we go. And now I have to punch through solid stone with my fists to get back. <sighs> Fun. Well, we have the pumpkin now. We can keep this pumpkin just right here on the counter. And now for the next ingredient, an egg. Now, of course, as you probably know, we can't just use normal eggs for this. These have to be really good eggs. Unfortunately, I destroyed the machine that lets me go into creative mode. So, yeah, that happened. Also, I'm just now realizing I had a time machine before that I also destroyed, which that also happened. You can watch this video up here if you want to see all that happen. So, we'll just have to get eggs that aren't spawn eggs. So, what's the better egg than the dragon egg? We'll need heavy equipment to be able to fight the ender dragon. Fortunately, though, I have quite a bit of gear for my time in the Hero Brian Wars. So I'll just take some of this armor and we'll go fight the dragon. Okay, I think that we're ready. Okay, now to go to the conveniently placed end portal. Almost forgot my pickaxe and stone. I'll need those if, in case I'm underground or far away from the island. So yeah, the conveniently placed end portal right down there that for some reason is just here near my home. Time for an epic 1v1 with the dragon. Just have to mine my way up. Here we are. The end. Oh, yeah, Enderman. Those are a thing. Yeah, the, the Ender Dragon's probably not too happy with me, honestly. How high up is this thing? Oh, pretty high. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Bad. Five. No, bad dragon. Might have to get closer. Oh, no, wait, there's one down there. No! I have... Oh, that Enderman's angry at me. I have to go down there. I need that bow desperately. Okay. The last end crystal, then the fight really begins. Okay, Mr. Dragon, where the heck are you? Get shot. Get shot. Get shot. Oh, that's a, quite a bit of damage. What is this stupid dragon doing? I mean, hope I think it's perching. Whoa! That wasn't very pog champ of you, my dude. Get over here. What is he doing? He's just vibing. He's given ultimate time vibe checks. Wow, this, this dragon can just... I'll, I'll just take a seat here, just wait for it to come back down, you know. Or I'll just jump up to get it. No, I won't jump up to get it. That was, that was horrible. And... Death to the dragon. Easy clap, boys. Easy clap. And the ender dragon egg is here. Let's go. Easily collect my prize. There we go. Next generation. Next generation is going directly into my stomach. Now I'll just close this back off. There we go, and no one needs to know that I was a key factor in the Hero Brine War. We'll just put this Ender Dragon egg, the next generation of dragons, in the refrigerator. And now for the final ingredient, sugar. We all know what happened last time when I needed sugar. Unfortunately, I can't purify the sugar. This will just have to be plain old sugar this time. See, purified sugar reacts weirdly with the ender dragon egg and can cause side effects to the egg such as it hatching or creating a black hole in the middle of the universe destroying everything and anything around it. Just small things like that, you know, so I'll just go out and get some normal sugar. Of course, we'll get the pumpkin and the dragon egg. Oops, almost dropped it and broke it. That wouldn't have been good. Then I'll just craft some sugar. So now it's time. Sugar, pumpkin, 
and a really nice egg. I'm sure it's completely healthy to eat. So we'll just mix those together. And we have a pumpkin pie, which we, we can't place it down actually, which is strange because we can place a whole cake down. But this is a good pumpkin pie, and we'll give it to Swabby for being so helpful with the whole time machine thing, even though it wasn't a time machine at all. So here you go, so you can have it. We can make something for you next, Rotisserie. That's right, I'll, I'll be making more of these How to Cook Perfect Minecraft Foods videos. So make sure to stay tuned and subscribe so that you... <gasps> My hat! So make, so make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for more of these videos. And also comment if, to tell me what you want the next video to be of. What I should make. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye.